22 and welcome to Kirksville, Missouri. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my bedroom. Um, I'm gonna start off by letting you guys know about something that describes me. You guys wanna know something that describes me well. My bedroom's a perfect example. I'm a little wild, crazy, and out there. I'm um, just into a lot of different things. Uh, anything that makes me happy, anything I find fun. This is my bedroom. University. I'm a senior, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm 22 years old, uh, and journalism's kind of been one of the two important parts of what's defined me as I've grown up. Uh, I came into school as a biology major and I thought science is what it was, but then I realized that I wanted to do more, I wanted to interact with people more, I wanted something that like brought me closer with people and helped me interact with people, and biology wasn't going to do that for me. Uh, so I switched to journalism uh, because I like interacting with people, I like doing things that's when I started working at KTRM, uh, it's 88.7 The Edge, here at Truman. Uh, I've been working there for four years now, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, so I feel like the journalism background gives me a good... Hey, what's up, Kirk? So you're listening to 88.7 The Edge, and I'm Josh Farr, and this is Epic Music Time. It gives me a good ability to talk to people, be in front of the mic. Um, it's opened up opportunities to like talk at large events and things like that. I uh, went to concerts and emceed those uh, and other things like that. With working to the edge, I've been a programming director. I was um, in charge of creating uh, legals and liners and commercials and stuff. I was also in charge of promotions for the station, uh, where I put on concerts and other type of events that showcased uh, what KTRM was doing. Alright, so three things that describe me. I'm really fun and energetic, and people say that I'm really an extrovert, and I'm really easy to talk to and get to know, and things like that. I just like to randomly walk with people, talk to them, and things like that. I just, I just portray myself really well. Um, but other things, people say that I'm just really awesome. So awesome, that sometimes they say I can stop people from smoking by being awesome. He's so awesome. So what do you guys want to know about my skills? Um, besides being awesome, being really extra, and being able to talk to people wherever, whenever, um, I have some really weird things, I guess, that kind of skills. I can pop my thumb out of place on both hands. Uh, I have a really big mouth. And we like to play a game of see how much I can fit in my mouth. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I can also do this. I lift heavy things. The most mentally challenging job that I've ever had is actually the one that I currently have. I work at PFH, which is Preferred Family Healthcare here in Kirksville. Um, I work in the adolescent unit with the inpatient drug and substance rehab children. Um, I've been working there for a little over a year. It's it's kind of mentally straining the fact that, I mean, the idea of these children being as young as like 11 and 12 sometimes and being addicted to different substances and stuff. Um, what kind of made me think that I could do this position was that I actually am in charge for the last six months of running the Tobacco Sensations Group there. Um, where I teach them about the dangers of smoking and things like that. And seeing how a lot of them have no information about it and how they, they don't understand the dangers behind it they, because they're doing such harder things, they don't think smoking is a big deal. Um, and there's, there's kids that come in there with full-blown uh, lung issues already at the age of like 16 um, from smoking. So that's kind of what made me think once I saw this opportunity that it might be a good, good idea for me because I've really like seen the harsh realities of that as, as far as youth is concerned uh, with smoking. Uh, but it's really mentally straining, I would say, uh, and it's probably the hardest job that I've ever done. Alright, so you guys want to know about living on a tour bus and it being tight spaces. I lived in a four bedroom house with eight people, like not having a lot of room isn't a big thing. I've been on many road trips. Uh, if you haven't noticed, like being in a tight cramped space with a bunch of dudes or females, I guess, doesn't really bother me at all. So I think I'd be fine living on the road. Alright, so I'm a fun guy, and I thought I'd just leave you guys a little something. Um, this is a day in the life of Josh Barna, including some crazy dancing, uh, me using some of the costumes from various costume parties I've been to in the small prop graveyard I have in my room.
is this going on for? Alright, that's me. That's what's up. Get out.